Hi everyone, welcome back to the Dog and Partridge, the place of fine named craft ales. This is my world famous brother Alan Partridge. This is my very hot brewmaster brother Dave Partridge. It is hot today, it is 29 degrees. I there. think it's more. I think it's more. It's more. What we've got on today then, bro? Well, from the range across the bar, we have got one from the own brewing company called Hearts and Minds. Okay, thank you. A classic English bitter. Now, this is a part grain kit, so you do get some malt extract, you do get some grain. And you do get some hops to add into a rolling boil. Right, uh, you know, these park grain kits last time I was on about a certain amount of boil that I have to do. What sort of literage of boiling do you have to do? Some kits you have to do 26 litres, yeah. some you can get away with 10 litre. And what was this? This was a, I did 10 litre. Right, yeah, okay. Uh, should you try it? I can try it. Is it supposed to be based on anything? Is it, is it just, mm. a, just a normal bitter? Just a normal classic English bitter, I think. It, it looks like a normal classic English bitter. It was nearly, nearly a amber red colour to it there. Yeah. 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 Copper. I know it's was copper. Copper. Yeah. Just what it says on the team. There's some good depth to it because it is a part grain kit, so there's a little bit more flavour from the malt in the background, isn't there? And the bitterness isn't too dry. It's it, not. I won't say it's overly bitter at all. You get out it's almost nice sort of sweet, in fact, isn't it? It's very the, the malt. Is. Very sweet, actually. Mm. Quite nice malt. Just it's a, it's a good bitter. What it, exactly what it says on the tin? There's nothing wrong with that. On a hot day like this, I prefer probably something a bit lighter and refreshing. But, yes, this is the problem. But, um, I'm quite happy to drink that. Uh, if if you have an evening session, nice. Yeah. It is a problem a little bit with uh, um, real ales. Um, obviously, we do try to get the best as we can call in, in uh, this tension, but you do want something a little yeah. bit light, a bit more refreshing. But no, that's fine. That's fine. Ten out of ten for me, bro. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, Home company. That's Home Brewing Company. Yeah, Home Brewing Company. Twenty two ninety five. Uh, yeah. Bargain again. What? Yeah. Why bother going out? Just make your own beer. It's a lot better. Anyway. <laughs> so that's one. What's next, bro? Well, we'll move on to the Bathams next. A replica range from the Home Brew Shop. They do a kit called a Bathams Bitter. Is that one there? Now Bathams is a, a brewery in the West Country, so. Even though the amount of beer that me and my bro drink, we've never had a bathroom. I've, ne I've never heard of it. And, and it's apparently, according to the packaging, it's quite famous. So I yeah. uh, apologise there, really. 11 pubs throughout the black country mm. serving uh, this great bitter. Bathroom bitter, yeah. 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 Brewing skills of Mr. D.B.A. Arthur Bathroom. Mm. Yeah. So there you go. There you go. So, so we thought we'd give it a try, because we've never had a bathroom, so we thought we'd give it a go. Uh, 4.5. 4.5. pints. Park grain again. Park grain. Lovely jubilee. Replica right. range, of course. So yeah. It is a replica, it isn't, but it is based on that's this, this one the true yeah. flavour of Bathams. And this is one here. Oh, that's a little bit lighter than the last one. I call that, I call that a straw colour. Yeah, See, it's, it's not it's, quite it's, gold. It's not, not golden, but it's not um, dark either. Oh, a nice bit of a nice nose to it. Nice to it. Angels dancing on my tongue again, that one, bro. It's like amber nectars of the gods. You see, now, the, the beer we just had, perfectly acceptable, perfectly yeah, fine. Flipping it. Well, that's another level. Because this is probably a part grain, so in this kit it's quite involved again. You do get them all out straight, you do get some grains to steep, and you do get some hops mm. to the brewing times. But the combination together, you can taste the sweetness of the malts at the start of the drink. Yeah. Just finish off with a nice crisp bitterness at the it's, back of the it, drink. It's rounded, it's got depth, but it's refreshing at the same time. It's oh, a I can lovely see beer. Why black people, oh. well, couldn't people in the black country love this beer? This might be getting destroyed this afternoon. You might have to go across to the black country to see how good it really That's is. Right. Um, uh, how much again for the kit? 22.95. For 40 pints. 40 pints? That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. Seeing as we pay £5.50 for a pint every week in town. We did indeed. It's eleven pound around. Eleven pound. Eleven pounds two pints. That's that's basically four points and you can buy forty pints. Brew your own beer. It's <laughs> fab that. Bit of fab. Now this is a ten litre kit as well. So you only need the ten litres of boiling water to make to make the beer. Oh, I do apologise, bro. Ten out of ten. A definitely a ten out of ten. This is, this is more than a ten out of ten. This is absolutely fab. I'm liking the replica range. I think we yes. haven't had a bad one out of it. And as you yeah. can see, we've moved now to park range kits a little bit more because mm. they usually get mm. a bit more depth of flavour. So if you're thinking of trying it, give it a go. It gets a little bit more involved. Some are easier than others. Yeah. This replica range is probably more easy than others. Yeah. Give it a go. Give it a it's go. It's great fun. Great. 
and great this beer. is cheap beer and really really good um i haven't had as good beer as this in, in a lot of pubs i've been in so you know so another beer i'm really another beer. three three beers it's like me down the pub in it yeah. i'm liking <laughs> i'm liking the look of this one though yeah right yeah so through the uh guinness pump which is now on uh, connected to the chiller we have got uh right then bit of a gob full here uh, it's mangrove jacks craft series and this is it. their recipe number six, Pils, which is short for Pilsner, obviously. This is a traditional Czech Pilsner with sass hops, providing a spicy and mild hopness, crisp and dry with clean bitterness. 4.5. I really love these kits because they give you all the info on here. It's all there. Everything you want to know about it. The hops, the yeast, is a lot. Everything you need is in this one pouch, so you do get a dry compartment with the hops in it that you add later for dry hopping. Mm. Um, so you, this is not... Park bang, obviously, then. No, but it's, you can actually malt. get a, uh, an answer with this, which is just another bag of liquid malt. Okay. So uh, this is what I was doing with this. You get uh, that pouch, I've added another pouch of liquid malt for about three or four quid right. to that and brewed it as per instructions. Okay, and, wh and where, did it, where do you get this one from again, Brad? Anywhere online, really. Homebrew Online, uh, cool. Home Brewing Company, and um, right. Homebrew Shop. Right, enough of this gaff. Let's taste it. Let's taste a beer, come on. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Because it's obviously through his Guinness pump, it's as creamy as creamy can be. Yes. Look at that. We are using look at that. 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 Oh, look at that on a hot day. Look at that. Oh. We are using a 70 30 mixture gas. Nice. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Again, that's even better. Because it's gold. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Mangrove Jack. I don't want to say, really. That's fantastic. It isn't really like a, a, a Pilsner because it, it has got quite a bit of kick of hops to the back of the throat, hasn't it? That's There's quite a, punchy. It's quite punchy, really. It's nothing like I would have said a lager like you guys and, think and, it is. And really quite dry at the end. Yeah. Really quite dry because my tongue's just gone. <laughs> now, the wife really <laughs> likes the. Um, Continental Pilsner by Muntins. Yeah. She doesn't like this one. Oh, shock horror. Well, she's outside, so got to be quiet, but it's bloody lovely. It's pretty lovely. <laughs> Probably because it's a bit more punchy, it's a bit more robust, mm. shall we say. It's a, it's a man's beer. It's a man's, it's a man's more beer. more man's beer than a... And on a hot day, because this is super chilled, right? A cracking job on a day like this to get like that cold, that is, that is just fantastic. Excuse me, man. <laughs> This kit again, around about nineteen pound with your pants or push up to twenty two, twenty three pound. I don't want to say, I mean, you know, it's brilliant. <laughs> We're going to be in beer heaven this afternoon, aren't we? Um, I, 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 three fantastic beers. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got, not that we drink a lot of beer in the DMP, but that's no, what, that's one hundred and twenty points. Yes, I have. <laughs> one hundred and twenty <laughs> points. For basically sixty-five quidish. That's not bad, is it's it? It's not bad, is it? It's not bad, is it? Then we're gonna have to drink them all as well, aren't we? Oh, what a shame! <laughs> what, a, what a shame! <laughs> <laughs> well, well, fantastic, really. <laughs> well, thanks everybody for watching. Yes, thank you, indeed. If you are watching on Facebook, please subscribe to our YouTube oh, channel. Please. Like, push those subscribers just a little bit more if you could. So please, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It would be much appreciated. And until next time, it's goodbye from him. It's goodbye from him.